What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing the Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. Uh, this is made by Emacs. So we're going to get started and open this up. Alright. So we got the uh, Emacs goggles. Um, they are a bit smaller than I expected, but we'll see how they work later. And then right in here we have the uh, Xbox style remote. And then this is the uh, battery for the goggles, extra propellers, and then the drone itself. And if you take a look at those propellers, you probably can't tell, but these are like really strong propellers. So hopefully those stay intact. And then we have the two batteries. Uh, this is the charger for the batteries, and then uh, we got this charger here. I believe this is for the remote and to plug the drone into Betaflight if you need. And yeah, that is everything out of the box. So we're going to go ahead and unwrap everything and uh, go ahead and charge the batteries and we'll turn it on. Alright, so both of the batteries are all charged up. Um, so you have this little plug on the back of the drone. So you're just going to go ahead and plug your batteries into there. And when you plug them in, we should hear a beep. There we go. And when you put your batteries on the drone, um, in the manual, it showed a picture of the batteries being mounted uh, just like this. So I can show you. Um, it's just the connection for the batteries on top, so it kind of stretches this out, um, just so it doesn't get close to the propellers. Um, and also this antenna here and this little one down here. I'm just gonna use some zip ties to hold those together uh, and uh, tuck them up against the frame uh, just because it's quite close to the propeller and you don't want that to get chopped off. And for the goggles, um, you're gonna plug them in right up here. So we'll just get our battery pack and plug them in. You should see something in there. And then you should see what the drone sees now. There you go, so you can see in there. Um, and then on the side of the goggles, you have um, a little button here for the focus, I believe. Um, so that just depends on how you like it or prefer. And for the remote, you just hold the power button to turn it on. And then um, the switch on the left here, um, that is to arm it. You flick it up to the third position, that will arm it. Flick it all the way down, that will shut it off. Um, and then this switch, I believe, goes through all the modes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the drone to the field and see how it works. All right, so we're out at the field. Um, we got the drone, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and take it for its first flight. All right, so we're just going to uh, fly line of sight for now. Um, just for the first uh, set of batteries, and then we'll charge them up, and then we can uh, plug in the goggles. So it's, it's flying pretty steady. Seems really easy to control in this mode, which is nice. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick punch up and see what kind of power it has. Holy cow. It's pretty quick. All right, so that is the end of the first flight. Um, the batteries are dead. Um, and that's one thing I think they could improve is putting a couple extra batteries in there uh, just because you only get those four minutes of flight. So we're gonna go ahead and charge the batteries and we'll be back out here to fly it again. All right, so we're out here at the field um, and I recharged the batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take another flight. And one thing, I cannot record the DVR with these goggles. Um, so I'm just gonna stick the GoPro in here and hopefully you guys can see some of that. And then also uh, just set it up on a stump over there and then uh, do a couple flybys. 
Alright guys, so there we go, we are done flying the drone, um, and overall it did pretty good. Um, one thing is these propellers, uh, I don't know if you can see, but these things are like really tough. And um, as you can see in the video, I crashed it a couple times, and these propellers have got a couple scratches, um, but overall they're good, I was actually expecting to at least break one. Um, and then the remote. Um, everything on the remote was good. Uh, one thing that I did not know until a bit later was the left switch here. If you put it all the way forward, that arms it, and all the way down shuts it off. And if you put it in the middle, uh, the drone will beep, and that can help you find it if you lose it in some tall grass or something. Um, and then the goggles, um, they did do pretty good. The only thing I think they could probably improve on is the range. It could only go from like 150 to maybe 200 feet, um, and the video would start cutting out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, try getting some better antennas maybe. Um, these ones are just the factory ones, they just unscrew. So I'm going to see if I can put some better ones in here and that might help uh, extend the video range. Um, but overall this drone is pretty quick and nimble. Um, and I think it's a pretty good beginner drone. Just the fact that the range for the video isn't that far. But otherwise it's pretty good. Uh, it comes with this case here which is nice um, so you don't have to leave your drone sitting around where it could get damaged. You just put it in here and it's all good. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.